Hi, my name's Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Paul Gordon's Holy Sh. Before we do that, can you like and subscribe? Check out onlinemagic.co. I nearly said the other one then. Onlinemagic.co. Go and check that out. That's my online magic course. I'm adding to it constantly now. Over 86 live sessions at time of performing. 87, actually, um, by the time you watch this. And more every week. And your membership for the live sessions, for the community, and everything is only $9.99 a month. You can hang out with me every week, most weeks, unless I'm poorly, like I just have been. Uh, but most weeks we're going to be hanging out. So, uh, and I'll send you the Zoom links and all that. So that's onlinemagic.co, not .com. Have a look. I've got four playing cards here, the four kings. The king of spades is the one to watch. That's the one to watch. It's second from face to the packet. If I turn the packet face down and reverse the order, it should bring it to second from top. But because I'm cheating, it's actually on the bottom. Now look, if it's on the bottom, watch very closely. If I reverse the order, where does that bring it? Now most people say to the top, and maybe right, it's there. Would you put money on it? You shouldn't, because that's actually the king of clubs. The king of spades is right here. Look, I'll put the king of spades on the bottom. If I put the king under it, where's the king of spades? It's actually back on top. I'll leave the king of spades down there. Would you put your money on it? I bet you wouldn't, and you shouldn't, because that's the king of diamonds. The king of spades is over here. Look, I'll leave the king of spades face up and bury it in the packet. It really is face up in the packet, and that's true. Am I right? Well, I'm wrong, because actually the king of hearts is face up. Look, I'll leave them all face down, four face down kings, correct? No? You're actually wrong, because the king of spades is right there. Now, it should be easy to follow the king of spades. Do you know why? It's the only one with a red back. And more than that, it's the only one with a bloody great hole in it. Absolutely, big round out, but it's back to the top. So if I put that there, would you put money on it this time, that that would be Jack of Spades? Yeah. You would, right? But the Jack of Spades is here, and that's the Jack of Diamonds. So watch, I'm going to do it real slow. So it should be easy to follow that, right? But if I just click, that sends him to the Jack of Diamonds. Right? What? The reason it isn't is, I don't know why, because it should be super easy, because Jack of Spades is getting on its face up. Right? And it's the only one with a blue back. And it's the only one with a massive hole in it. What? <laughs> How'd you do it? Get it. What? That's blown my mind. How'd you do that? That's amazing. So, Paul Gordon sent me this. This is a Blackpool release. Um, of course, you know, he is known for packet tricks and all that sort of stuff. And, and I love a packet trick, so it's a kind of winner for me, probably. And I've always wanted his books, you know, the gold, because I do, I do love those kind of tricks, but they just look so dense, and I kind of thought, I'll never get through them, but I, I think I will get them. And I saw this, didn't watch the trailer, he sent it to me, I opened it and went, it's another packet trick. Uh, and I learnt it and had a lovely time. That's what I did. <laughs> this is a, a, I think this is a corker of a trick, and I'll tell you why. Now, some of you, the, the packet tricks kind of really divide people, don't they? Some of you aren't really going to like them, and you're going to be like, oh, it's just another pack. Right, I'll tell you why this one's good. I am a big fan of Roger um, Smith's Maxi Twist. I perform it all the time, have done for years, love twisting the aces, all that. So it's, it's, it's in that vein, obviously it is. It's got the rounds, Lee's knee, Jordan Council, and all that kind of stuff. But there's a reason why this works. So I've just performed this at my hairdressers and I've got a bit of footage. It's ropey because we couldn't find anywhere to put the camera and there was no one to film it. So, you, but the important thing is you get the response from the, my hairdressers seen loads of stuff, by the way. I've done everything to them. So they've seen my shows. So, you know, they're not the easiest audience. What the thing that is, is wrong, is wrong with packet, packet trick, are wrong, is, sorry, mental block. Mm -hmm. The thing that's wrong with packet tricks, uh, a lot of the time, is they get a bit confusing. This happens in this, and there's no kind of finale. Now, with Roger Smith's Maxi Twist, there is because you've got this lovely thing, and I'm not going to go for it now, but it's kind of like, you know, the ace, the aces turn face, uh, face up one at a time. No, they turn, the four aces turn face down one at a time, and then you reveal them, but realise you've only got one ace and three indifferent cards, and then you reveal the aces in a really lovely flash way. So it kind of builds up. This does the same, but as I said, the thing, the confusing bit still kind of happens, but that's a good thing. In the same way as what people don't understand sometimes about the cups and balls, they go, oh, it gets confusing because the ball's jumping from cup to cup and it gets a bit boring. 
That's the point, because the minute it starts getting a bit confusing and boring, you hit them with the oranges and the melon, boom. And that, it almost cancels everything out and people go off like, that's what the trick was about. This is the same. You've got the, the sort of, they're keeping an eye on the king of spades and, and they, it might be the second from the top and then it's on the top and, and this, all this stuff happens and they're kind of engaged, but you can, there's a moment where they just kind of go, oh. and at that moment, you hit them with this triple whammy. Now the triple whammy is very important because it builds up. It, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So you go, right, you know, you can't, it, this should be easy to keep your eye on because it's, it's the only one that's face up. Boom, nice, all right? But you know, it's not, but it's nice. Then it's a blue back. Oh, and then it's got a hole in it. It's, it's lovely. And everybody that I've shown it to, I only got footage once, everybody has shown it, it's just absolutely killed. They love it. And the brilliant thing about it is it's completely examinable. Now he had, I think it was Holy Cow that wasn't examinable. And I think that's a big part of this because you see the, the guy, everybody that I've shown this to, the guy in the um, hairdressers, they just want to see him because they're convinced that something must be wrong with that. And the fact that there's nothing is brilliant. Just so you know, I haven't mentioned it yet. Well, no, I'm going, to show, I'm going to show you it, so I won't mention what happens in the trick, but um, it's, it's, there's these displays in it which are so convincing. At the beginning, you can show all the cards. You, you show them. You don't have to hide anything. It's, it's, it feels bold, but actually, and there's some bold moments in this where you think, am I going to get away with that? And you absolutely do. I really like this trick. It's, Yes, I like a lot of the packet tricks and stuff, but this one, it just theatrically, it works. It's got the bit that the confusing part of these kind of tricks is completely justified. The minute they feel that, like the cups and balls, they go, they go. The hardest thing about this is remembering it, but actually, after a few goes, it, it's intuitive. It makes complete sense. It's funny. Now, I read a thing, is it May you did, uh, and I'm sorry if the pronunciation is wrong, um, sent a newsletter out the other day, which I really, really like. And he said that one of Vernon's things was that you don't have to be funny with magic. Magic is intrinsically funny. Now, I disagree. I think magic can be the most unfunny thing in the world in some people's hands. But this is funny. And there's this moment where at the end you go, it's, it's got a, how he says, he says it's got a bloody great big L in it, which I think is really funny. Just those words I, I find funny. <laughs> I just, and the way he says it, it is really funny. But, it, but just to turn around, and that one's got a hole in it. Now, people will say, well, that doesn't make any sense. What's that got to do with anything? And that's kind of the point. It doesn't make sense. That's why it's funny. And after all that, none of that makes any sense because it's got only, it's like the cups and balls. And you know all those cups and the balls jumping from cup to cup, it's irrelevant because there's a melon and four oranges. That's why it's funny. It's brilliant. I love it. And now it's, uh, it, it just appeals to everything about, about, that I love about magic and these sort of tricks. So... It's about 18 quid, I think. Y y if you know an Elmsley count, a Jordan count, everything else is fine. The angles are fine. It's, it's, you can put it on their hand. As, so the misdirection, by the way, is a couple of bits where you're going to think, oh, am I going to do that, that turnover? But they've got it on their hand, so you can time the misdirection whilst they're looking at it. It's just great. Really good fun. Loads of moments in it. A lovely triple climax that builds up, does everything it should theatrically, and uh, I think it's a, it's a lovely trick. To, to take out and you'll have a great time with it and you, you can present it how you want but the fact that they have a card with a different colour back with an O in it is great. What more could you want from a card trick? So uh, that's it. I'm not going to say the word again so I don't have to bleep it out but um, Holy from Paul Gordon. Links will be below. Thanks Paul for sending it to me. A good honest packet trick. That's what we want. Uh, so do like and subscribe check out onlinemagic.co uh, get your spread cull course at onlinemagic.co forward slash courses forward slash cull but don't worry about that all the links are below and uh, have a good one see ya